Sagittarius, hello beautiful soul. My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now these messages are going to be general, so if they do resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you would like to schedule a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and advice from Spirit that truly help us empaths thrive here on this very dense planet. Without further ado, Sagittarius, we have messages popping out for you. We have that sun card coming forward for you. And we have the seven of swords. Okay. So it's really important to recognize that in order to get the fulfillment and success that you are longing for, it's important to keep your focus and attention only on what it is that you want from your life, not what it is that you currently don't have. Because I feel like there's a little bit of a deception going on right now. And I feel like this deception is coming from within. I feel like you're ignoring what your spirit is telling you. And I feel like now you are creating a life based upon validation of what your ego mind wants or someone else around you wants. When this happens, we, we feel really resentful with ourselves almost again like we've betrayed ourselves um, because again our, our spirits are our true sense and our ego minds um, is a, a visitor let's put it that way it's just a visitor but your conscious soul is who you truly are your authentic self and the, in order for you to feel a life full of passion and abundance and fulfillment it's really really important to be mindful around the energy that you surround yourself with okay so you want to be mindful about the people that you have in your life and if they are supporting you and if they're not supporting you right and you'll be able to feel it energetically You'll know what that feels like because you feel like you can't truly be yourself. You feel like you can't stand your ground. You feel like somebody is um, constantly um, reprimanding you or blaming you for something or uh, making you feel like you're doing something wrong. But at the end of the day, know that the choice is always yours to remove yourself from this level of energy. And I feel like when we are around this kind of negative influence or this negative energy, again, it's very, very exhausting and we almost forget who we are. We, we lose a sense of self because we are constantly constantly trying to um, become better or we're constantly trying to um, level up to meet this certain um, individual's expectations. But at the end of the day, you are always enough. And your wisdom that you truly possess comes from being with uh, amongst yourself, feeling comfortable to be with yourself, seeking that solitude that you require to take a step back. And I feel like that's what's needed right now, Sagittarius, is to just take a step back um, from what's going on in your life so that you can regain a sense of clarity, a sense of self. I feel like you've been too involved in too much negativity that again the lines have been blurred about where to head next and when you get regain this sense of clarity and when you go within and seek out where it is, you know, maybe that, you know, re-strategizing, right? A few tweaks need to be made, you know, those aha moments. That's when new energy is going to be brought forth. And I can see that because the Ace of Pentacles is here. Okay, so this is the abundant money card. This is that good omen card. That money is coming in and that financial success and freedom is here for you, okay? New beginnings when it comes to projects, new beginnings when it comes to um, uh, any type of career movement. And this is going to be something that's really going to level you up and really going to bring higher levels of consciousness into your center and so this is something that you have been waiting for but right now it's important to remove yourself from this negative energy right to regain your sense of courage re sense of strength and um, sense of wisdom about yourself right again sense of wisdom very important right now I feel like you've been giving your power away your true wisdom away but it all lies from just uh, or you re re enhance your wisdom re reignite your wisdom from within when you just take time away from what it is that you've been going through and just be with yourself for a little bit, right? Be with your, um, be with your, you and your spirit at the end of the day. Um, because at the end, I understand that where you set your focus and attention is going to manifest into the life of your desires. But right now it's time to try to achieve some type of balance, right? A patience and balance is needed. And whenever we are Whenever we are go, 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 and we are just putting a lot of energy and into something, we can get burnt out very, very fast. And so when we get, when we burn out, we lose our sense of what, of direction we need to take because we're just trying to get to baseline, right? We're just trying to get to a place where we're able to even coherently know what's going on, right? And when this happens, we want to, um, 
first of all, getting out in nature is very recharging. So just taking like a mental health day, getting out in nature, just spending some time maybe at a park or something like that, that will give you more balance and more clarity. And that will give you a more sense of self to be able to move in the direction that really makes sense for you, which is going to implement new energy, which is going to bring forward a lot of new um, uh, ideas and beginnings and a lot of uh, good news coming in. And this page of cups has the energy of good news coming in in the term of passion and love. So there's definitely love here for you, Sagittarius. Um, but right now, in order to get, you know, really have this love attracted to you, you've got to pull it in. And you're only going to pull it in from feeling a sense of worthiness and feeling a sense of confidence from within yourself. Because the level of um, vibrational set point that we have always comes from our level of self-worth. So if you don't feel like you're worthy, if you don't feel confident, if you don't feel good about yourself, then you're going to only manifest a life from that energy. Does that make sense? And the thing is, beautiful soul, is you deserve so much more than that. You really do. And the only reason you don't feel worthy or you don't feel confident in attracting money or attracting love is because you don't feel that, uh, that, that sense within yourself. That's why the more energy you put into yourself by, you know, exercising, nurturing yourself with healthy foods, making sure that, you know, you're, you're not overworking, making sure that you are setting those boundaries, making sure that you set your head down on the pillow at night and you feel successful, you will have everything that you desire because that's when the abundant universe can reach you. That's when it will be able to provide it for you. And I can see that it's here for you. Right? But you want to make sure that you're not blocking it. You want to make sure that you're not resisting this abundance, okay? And so it's really important to be mindful, again, about where it is that your focus goes, where what it is that you do in your spare time, right? Because if you're not... Um, taking action that's necessary to feel your most confident, abundant self, you're not gonna feel like you have the freedom. And the thing is, the universe is saying, Sag, that the freedom is yours. You have this ability to attract love and, and manifest money. You do, this is your birthright. We all do, right? But the only reason why some of us have it, some of us don't, is a certain level of expectation. And that expectation comes from our confidence. Because if you're going to the gym, you're eating clean, healthy foods, you're putting energy into work, you know, you got something you feel purposeful about, you expect good things to happen for you because you feel good and you're putting in the work towards it, right? It's like when you put in hard work at the gym, you expect results, right? When you put in work in your career, you expect results. It's just the minute where we start to worry about things, where we start to implement fear and anxiety. That's when we, we halt the results. That's when we stop the level of creation from moving forward. That's why it's a really important Sagittarius to set intentions for yourself because intentions will always allow your energetic body to guide you you there. And again, we uh, live this human experience based upon how we feel, right? And if we're not feeling good, if our baseline isn't feeling good, then we're trying to, constantly trying to move, trying to get to baseline. And the problem with that is that we're going to be tapping into our ego mind because we don't feel good. We're going our minds are going to take over because that's our ego. And if we don't feel good, it means that we don't feel protected. So our egos are going to come up trying to protect us. And then we're going to make a fear based decision, right? And when we make a fear based decision, we always make a decision that doesn't suit our soul, which means we're not happy, which means we make more fear based decisions and we can continue on the circle of fear, right? And then our life really doesn't manifest in the way it wants it to because we're constantly living our life th lives through fear. But if you set intentions about what you want and you're clear and you're bold with your request to the universe, then the, and then you simply surrender and say, I surrender. Guides and angels, universe, I surrender. Man, get down on your knees and surrender because it really works because you want to surrender that ego. You do not want your ego in, in the driver's seat, Sagittarius. You just do not. It will block everything. So surrender that, set the intentions, and allow the universe to guide you forward. Remember, if things feel like too sticky, you don't feel that guidance system, you don't feel like you can just surrender, you know, you're too stimulated. You are too ungrounded. It means you've absorbed too much energy from all over the place. And you know, that's when we make even worse decisions. We sugar, processed carbohydrates, not enough protein, not enough healthy fats. I'm gonna speak specifically to the women here. Women, we need, uh, we need healthy fats, okay? We need avocados, we need omega-3s, we need, uh, you know, um, uh, olive oil, we need, uh, you know, let's say salmon, whatever, whatever works for you, but we need healthy fats, okay? Grass-fed butter, okay, tallow. We need these things because this helps our hormones feel better and it makes us feel more grounded. So healthy fats and proteins, okay? Really important, okay? Guys, you need it too, but specifically for women and our hormones, okay? Because it's really important to, 
um, have a baseline of feeling good. And again, if we're not eating the proper foods and nurturing ourselves properly, we're not going to have that baseline. We're going to be trying to feel better some way, somehow, but we're really going to be feel a lot of anxiety. Okay. So get out of nature, move your body, clear that energy, clear that energetic center, eat healthy fats, eat some proteins. And at the end of the day, know you are a goddess, know that you are beautiful, know that you're powerful men. I'm speaking to you too. We are all goddesses and gods in our own way. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uh, almost certain with this next statement that we all come from some lineage or descendant of, uh, of, of, of a god or goddess or a star seed of that nature. Because us empaths, we all come from a significant um, uh, past. We all have an energy about us. Okay. So it's really um, important for us to tap into that, right? We all come, we all have lineage from somewhere. And when we live in our five sensory perspective or our ego perspective or we're not living through our intuition we're really limited and it, the world can be so much more magical so the universe is saying love every part of you because the more you love about yourself the more you will attract uh, into your life right but you do have to take the action side you got to go for it right you got to exercise you know you've got to eat nurturing foods you've got to take the control don't just do what you're used to doing right implement changes and you will receive significant changes in your life all right, beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Sag. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.